If you've ever seen a motor race before, you probably would have seen drivers moving from left to right in a zigzag motion trying to get more heat into the tyres to ultimately get more performance out of them. And this left me thinking, is this the same for go-kart racing? So seven months ago, I reached out to my friends over at Fleur Systems who make awesome thermal imaging cameras to see if I can determine an answer. And they said yes. And for this experiment, we're here at Buckmore Park with these two go-karts to see if warming up your tyres actually affects these sort of carts you can get at your local go-kart track. Now in the grand scheme of things, the only thing we're really testing here is how much more heat is being generated in those tyres after doing those manoeuvres. Of course, there's going to be loads of different parameters which could change, which are tyre pressures, how old the tyre is, the type of compound the tyre is, and also the track conditions themselves. But we're just seeing that if there is a massive increase in temperature, it might be worth adding a few of these manoeuvres into your outlaps so then you can get racing even quicker. Now this is just a brief overview, but basically this is your typical race tyre, and yes, I did drop out of art in school. Now on the outside, you've got loads of air molecules, and on the inside, you've got all those gas particles, all of which are flying around. Now when you bring heat into the equation, those gas particles start jumping around even more hitting against the side of the rubber and that's what makes the tyre harder because you've got these two pressures going against each other. You've got the outside air and you've got the inside gas trying to get out of it and that's where you get the grip from. So that's why you see most sport cars moving left to right trying to generate those heat into the tyres and that's exactly the experiment we're going to be doing today on these go-karts. And so this is how the experiment will be conducted. Using the Fleur T1K we'll get the readings of the front and rear tyres to see what the current temperature is and then the first cart will go out and just do a normal out lap. That means no manoeuvre there's no zigzagging approach, no harsh braking, just a simple driving around lap. Then the second cart will go out and do the opposite and actually do those zigzagging approaches, harsh braking, anything to generate warmth into the tyres, what you should be doing on an out lap. And then we'll get the readings from that and then compare the two results. So as a baseline at the moment, track temperature is around 14, 15 degrees. The front are around about 13, 14, and the rears on the exact same, 13 to 14 degrees. So let's see what it's like after an outlap. As you can see there on the right hand side, the sun has actually been hitting the track a lot more than it has on the left hand side. So there on the left you can see the track is currently around about 19 or so. And then over here, it's about 16. Okay, so in he comes, remember the baseline before was about 13, 14 degrees. So if you look here now, we're looking at 28 at the front and at the rear and at the rear around about 22 or 23 or so. So let's now cross over to the other side where on this approach we're going to be doing a zigzag, not swerving but a zigzag approach, also braking under that as well just to try and get as much heat into those tyres as possible. All ready to go? Let's do it. Chris and let's see what the fronts are. So at the very front here, up to 42, 43 degrees. And at the rear, we're up to 28, almost 29. So a massive difference between the first car of just doing a normal outlap rather than the actual zigzag approach generating more heat, therefore giving your tires more grip, allowing you to control your car even better so you can just race even better. Big thanks to the guys here at Buckmore for letting us come along and film. Make sure to check out their track in the description down below. And so there you have it. If you do some manoeuvres on your outlap at your local go-kart track, you will in fact heat up your tyres quicker than you would without. And so a massive thanks over to our friends at Fleur Systems for letting us borrow their awesome filmer imaging camera. And also a big thank you to today's sponsor, Displate. Displate are one of the leading meta poster manufacturers with over 400,000 designs on their website. From anything from racing to films to games, anything you can think of. I like the guys so much, I've got a few of my own. And if you want to go check them out, click the link in the description below, find something you like, and then use offer code MATT to save 15% off your order. But that's it from me, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. If you want to see some more go-karting videos, you can do so by clicking over here. And if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can do so by clicking on the top there as well. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, links in the description. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.